What's up guys, KDub175 back with another Pokemon Duel video, and if you guys haven't noticed yet, I'm sure you already know, but we do have 10 packs available again. I don't think they're that great, but I will go ahead and jump into the shop just to take a look at the figure list. So, as you can see, there's not a lot of new figures, there's really no new figures. I mean, we have the Tapu Koko, that's about the newest figure. Um, you know, I'm disappointed there's no Blaziken, which to be honest, I'd be a little salty since I just spent 4k material. But there's no Sceptile, no Magnezone, no Lunala, Decidueye, uh, Gengar, it's just... You know, if you're a newer player, then maybe if you really need a figure, there's really not a lot of good rares. Sableye's pretty much the only good rare, in my opinion, that's in here that you would want. Uh, Reuniclus is dead. <laughs> The uncommons are pretty bad as well, you know, maybe by Brava and Poliwhirl, but a lot of people already have those. The plates are pretty trash. I'm not going to be pulling on them at all. I'm going to definitely be waiting for the new banner. Guys, so hang on to your materials. Don't be crafting anything. Save, on to your, save your gems because I have a feeling we're going to have a really good banner. Um, if not by the end of this month, we'll definitely have a really good holiday banner. I mean, come on, it's a gotcha game. You know there's going to be a really good banner for Christmas, so uh, yeah, hang on to your gems. And speaking of gems, we do have a new gem sale, the $7.99, you get 876 gems, it's like 9 tenths of a cent, 100% the best deal that they do in the game, and you also have the uh, $3.99, you get 360 gems, it's just like 2 tenths of a cent more than the $7.99 package. I definitely recommend picking them both up if you're ever going to spend money on the game, now is the time to do it guys it's way better than even the $80 deal when you get 3,165 gems I think is what it is so uh, like I said you're not paying much more maybe like 75 cents more for the 399 compared to the cash the gem ratio from the 799 so they're both definitely worth it I'm gonna be getting them 100% and then saving them for the new banner and we have a brand new event guys the Queen's Cup it's something new and different than we've ever seen before at least for the worldwide release it's against bots and ai's we have shiny ho -Oh, which is really cool i will definitely take a look at the wheel go shiny hunter your prayers have been answered man we have shiny pokemon in the game it's pretty awesome so i'm not gonna lie to you guys i've already been playing uh playing this quite a bit 168th uh we got 4216 points um it's been pretty fun it's pretty easy until you get up to like the s tier uh, we are going to have three days to play this, so, you know, we're going to have today while you guys are watching this because I'm definitely going to try to get this up at the same day that I'm recording this. So three days and you want to get about 10,000 points. So we'll take a look at the reward list and, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of cover everything. I mean, I'm sure you guys can read and, and go over it, but uh, it's pretty cool. Like three days to play it and it, look... I've been playing it quite a bit. It's pretty easy, like I said, until you get to the S tier. And then the AI gets a lot better. A lot better. They're using really good Pokemon. They have a lot of EX, um, some solid teams, and, and plates. They have, you know, eight plate slots. But, um, yeah, I mean, you're pretty. it's pretty much like a hotel. So I have a feeling that the hotels are going to be coming soon. This is maybe a way for them to test to see how good the AI is. But we also have... Caroline. Okay, so she is kind of like the host of the event. Now you can be uh, challenged by her, which I have, and I definitely want to uh, try to showcase a match against her, but um, I didn't record it the first time that I played her. But you're going to get a lot more points from her. Th these are the times right here that she's going to be more active. Um, so she, she, you know, you may get challenged from her more frequently, but. Every time that I've been challenged by her, it's when I run out of uh, energy. So it's like a way to try to bait me into spending gems so I can refill my energy because you do get a lot more class points. Um, and if we get in the top 3,000 in rank, guys, so if you're in the top 3,000, you're going to get a special mask. Now, I think the Japanese players already had something similar. I do remember them saying something about carnivals. And if you haven't noticed, there are some Japanese players that have this black and gray mask that, you know, the rest of the world, I know at least us here in the States, um, I'm, I'm sure it's the same. If you take a look at the trophy rewards, that mask isn't available, but the Japanese players have it. So, yeah. 
and we got the ho-ho, guys. We got the ho, 4,000 points, shiny ho. This thing looks pretty awesome. Uh, definitely can't wait to play a match with it, uh, especially against the, the Phantom deck. There's an AI that uses like all ghost types, so I definitely want to try to find that and then do a match for you guys. So let's just take a look at the reward list. Like I said, I've already been playing this for a while, but I mean, we get gems, booster tickets, there's cubes, metal, you know, for experience, for chain levels, we have gold, more booster tickets, more gems, shiny ho -Oh, which I have picked up. This thing's pretty cool, okay? The wheel is exactly the same as the regular ho -Oh, however, it does have a special ability that is completely different. Instead of reviving your Pokemon, this, however, when it gets knocked out, all opposing Pokemon that are ghost types spin. If they land purple, they get knocked out. So, this thing's gonna be really good for the current meta right now because there's a lot of Lunala, Gengar, and Sableye running around. They have a lot of purple. Um, really, the only way this thing would not work out for you, I believe, is if it's next to like a Deoxys Defense. So, I definitely wanna try out a match. But we have another EX medal. We have 100 Carmenite to get total. And then at the top here, 10,000 points another EX cube. I'm really pumped about that, guys. So, uh, you know, we're like I said, we're at 170th now. We were, you know, we're going to fall. It's the first day, but I definitely want to just try to stay in the top 3,000. I know it's just a dumb mask, right? But, you know, hey, this is kind of a collector's game, right? So you kind of want to collect everything that you can. But um, let me know in the comments how far along you guys are. And, you know, what do you think of the event? Um, yeah, see if you could take a look here. Look at the top guy right here, top ranked player. This is the mask I've seen some Japanese players uh, wearing. It's not a mask that I'm able to get. So I have a feeling this was a special mask, kind of like the new one that we have now, but for just the Japanese players when, you know, they were the only ones playing the game at the time before the worldwide release. So yeah, that's pretty cool that there's going to be a new mask out. But yeah, I mean, this event isn't like super insane, but it's a way to get some, you know, good rewards and, you know, kind of play against some better AIs. So this actually is a uh, one of the easiest decks, and I definitely want to show you guys a little bit of a, a trick that I've been using. Um, you know, if you just want to kind of have some easier matches if you don't want them to go too long, but they are a lot better. Like, I don't know if it's because they have, you know, all their plates and just better Pokemon, but let's just say that, you know, you're kind of struggling on winning once you get to the S tier. So you can hit the change opponents. Then, if it's too strong, like that deck looks a lot better, right? You come back, switch them out. Okay, and see, now we have this deck again. So this is definitely one of the easier decks. There's a couple of them, but like I said, it's pretty easy getting all the way up to the S tier. And then, it, you know, it gets a lot harder. So if you don't have a lot of great figures, it could be tough. And look who decided to challenge us, guys. We have Carolyn, and no surprise, I'm out of energy, right? You know, perfect timing to come and challenge me. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to refill the energy. We're going to play her. But let's just say you, you don't want to spend gems. You're pretty free to play, right? You do have an hour. That's what that, um, the time remaining is. You have 58 minutes left. So if you're a little bit short of the energy requirement, then you can just wait and then play her. Um, but I don't recommend hitting ignore because you, you don't know when you'll see her again and look at how many points we're going to get. Now, it does change. Her deck changes. Um, you know, she was using the Incineroar and stuff last time. Yeah, so now she has like the Heatran. So it's a different deck, but you're getting a lot more class points for the amount of energy that you have to spend. So it's definitely worth playing her. So we're just going to go ahead and jump in with our deck and try it out. It's a little bit different than the deck that we used. Um, at the end of last month Because um, I did throw the Blaziken on there. I'm not gonna try to evolve the Blaziken I definitely might but as of right now. I'm not gonna try to evolve the Blaziken um, Just play with it and see how it kind of works uh, Don't really need I mean hey, she's got a uh, Combusken, so she's evolving her Blaziken But I'm gonna go defensive with the Coco. Yeah, because of the Mimikyu can block us off and I'm telling you guys, she, I mean, it's not like playing a 3.8k player or anything, but this is probably the best bot that I played against. So, well, <laughs> see when they long throw like that, it's just, it's got to be an error in coding. It definitely uses plates weird. 
Um, okay, and you know we have a pretty good shot of winning this as well. Yeah. And so they respin when they shouldn't. Like, um, they, I've they they've used a Sableye against me, and my uh, Lunala hits Moongeist, and it'll land gold, but it'll respin anyway. Um, <laughs> double miss. I even had the one time. This was hilarious. I I even tweeted about it. They uh, they Pokemon switched with the Spirit Tomb, right? They had a Lunala on my right entry point, and they chose to try to curse their own Lunala with the Spirit Tomb. I uh, I couldn't believe it. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and go into the middle with Coco. You know, th th it's still not perfect. I don't think it's ever going to be perfect. Uh, see, we can't surround with the Mimikyu because of the Fairy type. I'm just going to move up here. Um, so yeah, it's not perfect, but um, she's definitely a lot better. I'm not going to lie. I had to spend one gem to rewind when I played her the first time. And then I got challenged a second time, but I would already been refilling my energy a bunch. So I didn't really feel like uh, spending more gems, and I was pretty tired. Because it was really, really, really late when this thing came out. Okay. What are we going to do here? I think I should probably block off this Lunala. Yeah, let's go ahead and just jump Sableye over here. Okay, she's moving up with the Heatran. So Sableye's a pretty good matchup for both of them. I think... Yeah, let's just get the Magneton out here. <laughs> okay. Hopefully... Nice, okay. So we're going to get a free surround on Lunala. That's really good. See you later, Lunala. Okay, the Empoleon comes out. Not too worried about the Empoleon. Um, though, probably we'll hit the gold into our purple. Okay, so hopefully they don't hit Cyclone Kick. Nice. That is beautiful. Do not want to see that evolution of the Blaziken. <laughs> Let's go ahead, take the entry point. And then I think what I'm going to do... I'm gonna take the Coco here. Oh, okay. I, I was afraid she might attack with the Empoleon. <laughs> Man, we're getting really lucky rolls. Let's get that Magna Zone on the field, boys. Yeah. Love Magna Zone. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna jump in on this side. Attack. Try to uh, try to knock this thing down once. Ah. Uh, oh, gonna attack. Okay. I mean, I guess it doesn't have too much to lose. So the burn helps us out with the... Um, so, let me see. Um, yeah, let's just move up with uh, Sableye. So, she, yeah, she, she's probably going to block off. So I think what we can just go ahead and do is go Mega Gengar. Move up here. And then I'll probably attack the Mimikyu with the Coco, but I just don't want this Lunala getting out. Uh, don't want it. Wow. Okay. Sableye coming in clutch. Oh, okay, so uh, I don't think we can use a plate. Uh, I'm just going to move right here. Do not. <sighs> I knew it. I knew it. That happens like, it just, it does, it seems like it's just, uh, it just happens way too much. Okay, nice. Oh, Cobalion, man, I always forget about that. It feels bad. Okay, um, let's go ahead and max revive. I mean, we have a decent shot at still of knocking out that Empoleon, but I'm not going to risk it. Maybe try to get Gengar up in there. I think I'm going to try to attack one more time with the Coco, and then if it doesn't work out, then I'll probably retreat. Hopefully we can hit our... Oh my god. He hits miss, but we hit the gold again. Okay. Um... Uh, yeah, I'm just... I'm going to back up, because it's it just... I feel like I'm going to keep hitting gold or something. Nice. Awesome. Okay, so we can go ahead and move up with the Blaziken right here. And then, I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move over one here with the Sableye. I'm not going to attack. Okay, hopefully we hit our Cyclone Kick. Ugh. 
Combuskin OP, man. So as you guys can see, it's it's a lot better. The AI is a lot better. I think they are using this as a little bit of a test so they can release the new hotels that have really good decks and so it's not super easy. Okay, awesome. We get the burn. Though it's level one, so it could be the cyclone kick or the jet kick that disappears. It's hard to say. And all it's gonna pop in. Wow, see, I would have attacked the Gengar. Nice. That works. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take, um, actually, no, let's just move in and attack with Lunala. I think we got a good shot of winning here. We can't get surrounded. Nice, okay. I thought about putting Gengar on the inside, but I think Lunala had us a, a better shot, so, okay. Oh, wow. Wow, okay. All right. Now we can go ahead and put Gengar in here. I don't know. I don't know. That was maybe a decent sacrifice. <sighs> so lucky. See, generally, if most people would have their Blaziken leveled up a little bit, and then that would have been a miss. So I'm going to go ahead and double chance. Try to uh, see if we can knock out this Lunala. Hopefully it'll hit its uh, Will-O-Wisp into a miss. Uh, okay. Oh, that's fine. We'll just keep it. And they're all going to get weight, which is awesome. Too bad Mimikyu can come out. Or it could have been a weight win. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of defense here. Okay, um, we still have the Magna Zone and everything for backup. I don't think I need to retreat. Let's just attack. We have a good shot of winning if they hit the right roll. Ah. Uh, she hit, she hit what we needed them to. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the Magnezone on the goal. I'm gonna have a really tough time knocking out the Magnezone. Hopefully, like this could go either way right now. Okay, awesome. Okay, I think. Yeah, let's just move up. Mimikyu isn't gonna be able to do a whole lot against our uh, our Magnezone. Hopefully we don't get gold into purple. Okay, nice. So the Heatran's back. It might sacrifice itself to knock out our uh, Gengar again, but we're gonna go for it. They hit the Moon guys. And nice, there it is. So that's a pretty much GG. Yeah. It's gonna be GG. Oh man, we get the knockout. Right, let's go for the BM. Let's BM old Carolyn. Sorry, Carolyn. <laughs> I want to try to, uh, yeah, let, no counter attack, so let's let's attack this Mimikyu. Ah, I'll just take the win next turn. Yeah, there's no point because they can keep she can keep coming out anyway. So, ah, GG Carolyn. So we get a nice chunk of points, uh, like what 260 or something like that. I forget how many. But like I said, if you get challenged by her, definitely take it. It's, it's going to be a tougher battle, but um, it's, it seems like they're working on the AI a little bit. And it, it's definitely better than it's ever been, in my opinion, once you get to the S tier. But, you know, they still make some pretty questionable plays, but it's not going to be perfect. Yeah, 260 points. Um, we're getting up there. Not too far away. Almost halfway. But uh, let me know what you guys think and how what you think of the AI. So I found the deck, guys. This is the ghost team that the uh, AI runs. We do have the shiny ho on the team, so hopefully we can showcase its ability, and this could be a pretty fun match. So hopefully we can win this one, <laughs> and uh, I don't know. I'm curious to see if they're going to try to uh, curse their own figure again. Like, I couldn't believe it. It just blew my mind. Like, why would you try to curse your own figure? You know, like, how smart the uh the ai is for chess you know if you ever hear about some of the greatest chess players in the world have been beaten by ai so uh, you know ai that learns from itself um there was another game i can't remember what it was i think it was called like alpha go something that you know a lot of japanese players play you know chess only has so many moves where this game has an astronomical amount of you know paths that could possibly take so it's almost impossible to predict what the player is going to do 
and uh, one of the greatest players in the world still was beaten by AI. So, um, I think I think I seen that from a PewDiePie video, actually, um, where he was. Uh, yeah, I think the thumbnails got um, Stephen Hawking on it, and just talking about AI and things like that. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna move here. But yeah, the AI seems a lot better than you know it's ever been even playing bots in the gym and things like that so i'm definitely curious to see if the ai tickets are going to work better if you know the hotels are going to be a lot better because the ai is possible like it's out there i just hope that the uh that the developers keep working on the ai and make it better uh, playing an ai that has really good figures and makes smart decisions it's it's really good practice so um, and then you can learn quite a bit from the type the type of plays that they make and They do things that don't seem Right, but then all of a sudden if they get a couple of rolls then they have you in a really really bad spot. So uh, It's definitely calculated risks But yeah, I, I just there's no there's no reason to long throw Lunala when it can go in the same spot There's no reason to goal block when a figures right next to the goal and can and can reach it within its MP range. So I, I would like to see them fix that. But we do have the shiny ho on the field. There's plenty of ghost types. I'm gonna go ahead and just take this entry point. Uh, doesn't take a whole lot of thinking to to play this match to be honest, but you know if we uh okay cool. If we lose enough rolls, I'm gonna go ahead and try to knock the disguise off this Mimikyu. No offense, Mimikyu. I, I do like... Oh, hey. Actually, we're going to send it straight to the PC. Ha. Huh. That ability. So maybe maybe Ho won't uh, feature at all. Oh, okay. But they, they, they get the clutch spin. So they're going to live for another day. I'm going to move up with the Ho. I'm going to attack. Hopefully, we can get knocked out here. Nice. Okay. Let's see what's going to happen, guys. Oh, double kill. Oh, that, so that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Didn't win us the match, but um, you know, if they're if you're playing against an opponent that has uh, you know, a ghost type on their goal or whatnot, and they attack into your ho, -oh, you know, you could possibly just straight up win the match. Okay, so they're actually going for my figure, <laughs> not their own figure. So, congrats for picking. An opponent's figure AI I'm gonna go ahead and go Mega Gengar get rid of that curse so that's probably all Ho is gonna feature in this because I don't see it lasting too much longer here mm, okay well, if we lose this I'll be surprised okay so I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just move in here I mean, I could have capped the entry point, but my Lunala has a good matchup against, you know, we got the chain levels. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to X-Speed, I think. Uh, Blaziken, I'm going to X-Speed, attack the Gengar, and if we get this knockout, it could be game. Uh, though the Lunala could get lucky and get, like, Moongeist into our Flare Blitz. But, uh, yeah, we got a full gold wheel now, boys. All right, nice. So the X-Speed actually came in really clutch there jump over and attack okay so hopefully we hit the cyclone kick okay that works too nice so that's definitely gonna be GG boys uh, we'll go ahead and give it to the Blaziken and uh, the top ranked player could not stop us <laughs> but that should actually get us about halfway there we should be just about 5,000 points I want to say but yeah this team is pretty fun guys it's not bad now, I don't think the shiny ho is going to be like meta breaking. It's not going to, you know, shake up the meta and, you know, ghost types are just going to get completely destroyed. But it's a fun figure. It's cool. It's something different. It, you know, if you have a couple of hoes with some chain levels, maybe you want to put some chains into this one and try it out because there are a lot of ghost types in the meta. But we get our rare metal EX. We're 5,000. So yeah, I think that's going to be about it for the gameplay in this one, guys. But um, yeah, we made it just over 5,000 points. We got the shiny already. We're in the top 100, actually. But I mean, it is the first day. Some of the 
guys ranked up at the top have just been grinding so hard. They're over like 25,000 points already. It's insane. But let me know, guys, in the comments. What do you think of this event? Do you want to see more of these? Me, personally, I wouldn't mind seeing this every time a gym ends. Like, we have the gym. Maybe give you a day or two to get your rewards. We don't need a week for your booster box to sit in there, you know. I, I, it's really pointless. Have a gym. Then when that ends, you could have this. Also, you could have hall matches. It's a good way to get... You know, medals and uh, gems, booster tickets, just all the rewards that they offer is really good. Gives you something extra to do. So I think it's really cool and really excited that they added a shiny Pokemon. And I'm glad that it has a different ability. But, um, you know, it's not going to be the best figure in the game, obviously. None of the figures are that they give away for free, but there's some use for it. As of right now, with a lot of the ghost types being meta, there's some use for it. So get your rewards. Let me know how you guys like the event. That's going to be it for this one, guys. Subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next video. You can follow me on Twitter, kdub175. Tag me some screenshots. If you don't use Twitter, you can leave a comment. But until the next one, later, guys.